in the name of allah the most merciful and the most beneficent may allah peace and blessings of subhanahu taala be on all of us assalamu alaikum this is miss mahjabeen khan and i will teach you science first of all let me tell you that the science book is changed now now this is your science book and it is very interesting before starting the topic first we must know about the science science is the knowledge which is obtained through observation and experiment the chapter in your book are related to biology chemistry and physics biology means study of life and chemistry deals with properties structure and composition of matter and physics deals with matter and energy and their interaction now today we will learn about the unit 1 sustenance of the individual nutrition and respiration so first we will talk about the sustenance it means the normal basic human need a supplying or being supplied with the necessities of life of nourishment or it is food and drink regarded as a source of strength and what is the meaning of individual it means for a particular person so beta what is the meaning of the sustenance of the individual the sustenance of the individual is food or drink which a person animal or plant needs to remain alive and healthy have you got my point beta now the next is life process what is life process all living organism perform some basic function to stay alive these are known as life function or life processes some of these basic life processes are nutrition transportation respiration excretion reproduction and metabolism so first we will discuss about the nutrition do you know about the nutrition what is nutrition nutrition means nourishment or food or nutrition is the process of a living beings ability to eat foods and use the component of those foods to fuel growth and development nutrition is important to understand so that we can make healthy food choices now nutrition are divided into two major group autotrophic and heterotrophic now heterotrophic are further divided into three major group saprotrophic parasitic and holozoic now now we will learn about the autotrophic autos meaning cell and troph meaning nutrition an organism capable of making its own nutritive organic molecule from inorganic material so what is the meaning of autotroph autotroph means they make their own food and plant is the example of autotroph have you got it now the autotrophic nutrition autotrophic nutrition is the process by which an organism produce its own food plants take in organic compounds such as carbon dioxide and water and convert it to an organic food compound such as glucose and sun have this process take place now this process is known as photosynthesis do you know about the photosynthesis what is the meaning of photosynthesis photo means slide and synthesis means putting together so photosynthesis just means putting together with light or photosynthesis is the process by which autotrophic organism use light energy to make sugar and oxygen gas from carbon dioxide and water here is equation see the equation beta when carbon dioxide combined with water in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll the glucose and oxygen is formed so beta four factor is very necessary for the photosynthesis carbon dioxide water 
sunlight or the light energy and chlorophyll now what is chlorophyll chlorophyll is the green pigmentation or pigment in leaf that help plants to absorb or trap light energy from the sun to make food or the chloroplast found in plant cell or chloroplast contain a green pigment called chlorophyll and chlorophyll is essential for photosynthesis the process by which plant make food have you got it now the next is heterotroph it need to eat other organism to get energy or heterotrophic nutrition all animals including men and all non green plants depends on green plants for organic food they are known as heterotrophic and their mode of nutrition is called heterotrophic nutrition now heterotrophic nutrition in animal they are divided into three groups herbivores carnivores and omnivores now first one is herbivores the herbivores organism that feed on plants now the second is carnivores the carnivores organism that feed on other organism now the third is omnivores omnivores organism that feed on both plant and other animals now the next is heterotrophic nutrition in plant they are further divided into three groups holozoic nutrition saprophytism parasitism the first one is holozoic nutrition the organism feed by organic matter it is known as holozoic nutrition for example human animals now saprophytes saprophytes feeds on dead matter include bacteria and fungi which digest the food externally before the nutrient are absorbed now the last is parasites parasites obtain nutrient from living organism the parasites obtain nutrient by living on or in the body of the host now the next nutrition in amoeba and paramecium amoeba and paramecium both are the unicellular organism do you know beta what is the unicellular organism unicellular organism means the organism which consist of only one cell got it now the nutrition in amoeba the unicellular amoeba engulfs tiny particles of food by throwing its false feeds known as cytopodia the cytopodia join together to form a small cavity known as food vacuole and the food inside the vacuole is digested by enzyme now the nutrition in paramecium the unicellular paramecium has a stiff hair like a structure called cilia all over its body which are used for ingestion the constant movement of the cilia pushes the food particle into its mouth like structure or the food is brought by the lashing movement of cilia to a small opening called cytosome have you got it now the next differences between autotrophs and the heterotrophs autotrophs make their own food the for example plants and the heterotrophs they consume food made by autotroph now the example of the autotrophs and the heterotrophs the green plant and the some bacteria are the example of the autotroph and fungi and the some bacteria animals and humans are the examples of the heterotrophs now this is the difference between autotrophic nutrition and the heterotrophic nutrition the first one is food is prepared from carbon dioxide water and sunlight in autotrophic nutrition and the food is obtained from other organism in heterotrophic nutrition now the in autotrophic nutrition chlorophyll is required chlorophyll is very necessary 
but in heterotrophic nutrition chlorophyll is not required now in autotrophic nutrition all green plants and some bacteria have this type of nutrition and in heterotrophic nutrition all animals and fungi have this type of nutrition now the food is generally in daytime in autotrophic nutrition why in daytime because the sunlight is very necessary and the food can be obtained at all time in heterotrophic nutrition got it better now the next last topic is starch what is starch a starch it is a nutrient carbohydrates found notably in corn potatoes wheat and rice and is commonly prepared as a whole tasteless powder now here is a experiment there are four step in testing a leaf for starch number 1 is dip leaf in boiling water for 30 second now the second is boil leaf in alcohol now the third one is dip leaf in boiling water and the fourth one is spread leaf on a white tile and place iodine solution on the leaf if a starch is present a blue black color will be seen now the recapitulation today i learned about the life processes what is life processes the basic life processes performed by all living organisms are nutrition respiration excretion growth and reproduction and what is autotroph and what is heterotroph autotroph means the make their own food and green plants are autotroph and heterotroph consume food made by autotrophs all non green plants and animals are heterotrophs and what is a starch a starch is a nutrient carbohydrates found not only in corn potatoes wheat and rice and is commonly prepared as a whole tasteless powder last but not the least home task yes home task there are two short and the one long question from the book and you have to answer it in your copy you can find answer of these question in your book from page number 1 to 8 or you can write answer the question through my lecture so the question number 1 is list the basic life processes performed by all living organism the question number 2 differentiate between autotrophs and the heterotrophs give an examples of each the long question is how will you test a leaf for starch and mention any precautions that you will take the drone eat and label diagram figure 1.15 page number 8 paramecium now i will give you some instruction that you have to follow it up you are supposed to use only black and blue pen and you have to use pencil for drawing the diagram and i hope that you have understood the lesson as well as the home task take care beta allah hafiz